as many. There are going to be three months of the final person that will be mine. Okay? Now, we can have the mind of Christ, isn't it? All right? So, if you're going to have the mind of Christ, you're going to have the mind of what? The Lord. The Lord. Okay? You're not just led by any spirit. Okay? You're led by the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit wants you to be. The Lord Jesus Christ says, you can't speak of himself. Once you say, Lord Jesus Christ. So you can't, uh, so once be grounded in the Word of God, it's not now the mind of God. You, you want to take out the mind of Christ, you do the Bible, the Bible of God. And you ask for the Lord to give you something out of this gift. Okay? Now go by failing. Don't go by all the teachings of men. Go by the Word of God. Okay? That's wrong. So now I have among you envy and strife. Envy is desire to have something that someone else can. Okay? Strife. So this is, well, that's that intention fighting where there is this intention on for the night. Division. Now, uh, boy, do we live with the person to buy you know, every person gives this to God. You know, every person gives this to God. And if you did come up on the right church, you weren't recognized it because of all the false teachings that came all the church. Because it's something you could do. Why? Because when you take the Bible and you pass it aside and you don't respect God's Word, and you go and you change God's Word all the time, and you bring in these new verses and these new modern verses, and the root God's Word, Guess what? You've shown a disrespect of it and no desire to learn it, and because you've done that, you won't recognize it from the past. It's division. It's, it, I mean, if, you, if I go out and ask you to do something in the Word of God, and every one of you do something different, that's the Bible. You know how many, there's 90 different translations of the Bible. In the American, I think it's well, but uh, what is it? That's the reason. That's not a God. That's not a God. That's a division among churches. Why? Because they throw the word of God out. The word of God grounds grounded in the word of God. There, the ones that understand where he. And find the true word of God. And I want to bring the only Bible believers. Why? Because we found the word of God. You know that only a true genuine Bible believer believes he has the true Bible. Nobody else has found that in the Bible. But I'll tell you. But I'll tell you. Are you not carnal and walk as men? Both. So when I want to say, I am a Paul, and another, I am a Paul, are you not fun? Now, this is why I'm going to kind of get among even the Bible believers where we get a little bit off. Now, what was the difference between Paul and Paul? The world. They were both Christians. They were both Christians at their time. They are both men of God's existence. Okay? The carnality comes from the following. Because they're following somebody who says, he's more important. I'm a God, he's more important. Well, Paul says, be a follower of me, because I am a follower of mine. So here's the rule of Christ. You can always follow a man while he's following the Christ down the even road in the You cannot follow any man down any road where he's not following the Christ in the 
So you can follow any man to follow in Christ. You cannot follow any man who's not following in Christ. The difference is, is the man following in Christ or not? Okay? So now when it comes to the divisions in the church, which is where the vision needs to come when that man quit following in Christ, or the doctrine of the Bible, or the teaching of the Bible. Um, we run into that many times in the Bible. Bible school, a lot of times, for Brown and Bounds by one leader, and that leader of that Bible school will have the doctrine of the teaching, okay? Then Bible school says, well, that Bible school is no good. That Bible school says, you have to come to our Bible school. Well, here's the thing. You can go to many independent Bible believing Bible schools and get some good stuff. In fact, it doesn't matter if it's West Coast, Ohio, Anderson, Tennessee Central, Pensacola Bible Institute, Pensacola Valley Bible Institute. I mean, there's just a number of Bible schools that I can think of. Now, there's some areas maybe where the leader will be. Can you see? Can you follow on that? No. But there's a lot of areas where you're going to see. Can you follow on that? No. Not a problem. Not a problem. So it's a matter of you don't divide yourself over every little piece. Now, there's sometimes what you can make it to be able to divide it. You can have to do it. Matter of fact, the Lord said that He would bring the vision. A lot of people can't grasp that. Alright? We're going to make sense for what the Lord says, I am a power, and I am a power, but how is the power? Are you not power? Who then is power, and who is the power, but ministers by whom we believe? Even as the Lord gave to every man. Now see what the key is? It's who they believe from. And, and this, uh, I had a guy tell me this. Can't we carry him out? Y'all know him somewhere. Some of y'all know him. He's a doctor. And I said, he's going to be And I asked him, he said, usually the direction you go is uh, as an independent doctor to one that the things that you'll lead to and you'll bring to. This one that led to the Lord in the ground. So, to me, that's the God. That, that will always be the God. And uh, those that follow Ohio were taught, led by the Lord and taught by Ohio. Or the one that has the greatest reason for me, and he started out as a baby kid. That's the God to me. Why? Because he's connected to me. There's a personal connection. Okay? That's why you fall. It isn't until you get older when you start being aware of where you start, where you read the Bible for yourself, and then you start becoming the people that the Lord wants to use and say, Why is there a good guy for you? Why is there a good guy for you? Why is there a good guy for you? Even though he had a great influence on me, I even disagree with the people because of what I read in the Bible. Okay? And our time is to tie sense when you no longer just following the man, you're following the Lord through the process. That's where every person has become a sense. But you know, when he comes back and says, and also grows and grows, he says, I don't have to agree with that little God and every little thing. I can have grace with my brother because I love him. And a lot of people never did that because they just said, I can have grace with my brethren because I love them. Grace is not the given, but not the good. And we really need to move to that point. I don't know if the whole scripture says, I have planted a fire of water, but God gave me peace. Now that's. You know what we are, we're fellow laborers. We're fellow laborers in this city, in the world. 
on the one that gives the increase, the one that actually does the work, is the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit who died for us. It's not us. We're just the tool. We're just the tool. We're just the labor. So the Bible on earth is Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10, verse 2. Know your place in the body of Christ and in the work of the Lord. Uh, don't try to take the spirit of the glory from God in the world, which many do. Look at Luke chapter 10 and look at verse 2. So, therefore, setting on to them, the harvest truly is great, but the labor is at you. But they need that for it. Now what? The Lord of the harvest. You're not the Lord of the harvest. You're just the baby. You're just the baby. You're the one that brings the anything. But if you would send forth labors into your harvest, his harvest. Now there's an element of man when he gets saved that he comes to the truth because the Holy Spirit is the one that's got into the mind. And we like to say that when we do, we show them the truth. You might have been the least in this as a boy, too, at the time you knew it. But he brought me a thought of the I tell you, I, the last hour I went to work, I'm trying to speak on a Wednesday night. I was getting ready to go forward. It's going to go put God in the ground. Now, so I can leave somebody for time. But she showed up at the door here at the church before I ever got a chance to go out. I don't have been any skill in my part. There are fruits that God brings that fell out of the tree that I happen to be the one that was available that God used. Okay, there was no skill in leading that down to the Lord. Anybody could have led that to the Lord. Anybody could have led it to the Lord. She was so ready to receive time. What, what is it? Don't the Lord do in His work? You know what the greatest soul winner is? The soul winner that's available to the world. That's the greatest thing. The one that's available. It's not great skills that you've got. It's are you a laborer that's ready and available? Take the Bible. Back to verse 3 through chapter 3 and verse 7. So it's the one that brings the infants, not us. Verse 7 it says, So then neither is he that planted anything, neither is he that watered, but God that giveth the infants. So run this down. Six. Okay. That is right, is all, and I am nothing. You want to be a Christian? There you go. Christ, I am you. I am nothing. Christ is all, I am You want to be a part of the house? It's about you. Get a gym for it. All about you. Not about you. Good. Okay. So it says that neither is he that findeth anything, neither he that water. I'm not for giving credit or credit to you. Well, I'm not going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. All right. So it's going to be the word you say. You say that again. What? Freaked out? I'm freaked out. Do you already freaked out? You know now? Okay, man. 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 Well, because they're the body of Christ. And the body of Christ is the body of Christ. 
for a while, for one day, for a few seconds, and he takes the interest. When we are not in contact with those that labor for God. Okay? For what? It doesn't seem that way, does it? But that's what we're working for. When it comes to bringing the Think about it all and uh, look at John chapter 4. John chapter 4. Where verse 35 to 31. John chapter 4, verse 35. Say now, say now ye, there are yet four months, and then come at harvest. Behold, I say unto you, Make up your eyes and look into the fields, for they are white already to harvest. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life and come. That both he that sows and he that reapeth may what? Rejoice together. And here in the same too, one sows and another reapeth. I think you can reap that they need to sow no less under men labor. And he are into their life. But here's the one who sells. Here's the one who three, three different ones. But here's the one who gives the winter, the Lord who gives the winter. You know that plant grows and can afford the garden. The harvest can be used. This is the way. This is the way. And, uh, and it's a blessing to be your way for Amen. It's a blessing to labor in the Lord's field. It's a blessing to labor the Lord's cross. That's a blessing. And the Lord will reward us according to what? Our own labor. I'll go back to First Corinthians chapter 3. It says, So it's not he that planteth and he that watereth and one, one. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his what? Own labor. So when it comes to the field, it's a matter of not what you're reaping or how much you're reaping or you that are doing your reaping, it's how much did you labor? How much did you do something for God? How much effort did you put in? Was you a lazy worker or were you a steady are you that guy that had to have a health break every 30 minutes to put the 15 minutes out there? Come on, 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 why do you like to have the phone? So if you get a phone call, you have to call the phone. But we, we had one of the, for a while, our business people. But no cell uh, if, And I had to get the back on my cell phone. We were uh, working for that. If you want to get a hold of me, you have to call the phone. We had to turn the cell phone off. And the reason being is that I have to talk to the workers is going on the phone all the time. Instead of working, they want to go. Anyway, how do I get off on that? <laughs> what kind of labor are you? You know, you're really, you know, really preparing to your own life. So the Bible on terms of Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6. And uh, look at um, the verse 10, Galatians 6, 10. So if I uh, be not deceived, that is not my fault for a man's soul, that guy also was very so then. But he was said to a false out the first three. And they either said to sit, say to sit, bring life everlasting. Let us not be willing and well doing, or in due season. There we go. We shall reap at the same time. 
the other. So what, well, I thought the first time I thought you were uh, the one that chose the one that reached. I'm talking about reaching the judgment to the cross and God saves his worship. He did it to which is what this staff is building up to is the judgment to the cross. And so you go into the reaching of the church uh, and what they'll read. Take the Bible and turn to Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14. So then I'll be the same that you will stand before the judgment to the time. You are given in count of your life for everything that's done, whether it's good or whether it's bad. Okay. And in that time, that's called the judgment to the time, where God judges you according to your work. Now, that's not a judgment of salvation, because salvation is a free gift. That's the judgment of the Christian life of how well you serve him as a Christian. Now, if you do not serve him, now, if you didn't become a Christian, you will go to the great life from the dead. Different judgment. And in that judgment, it will be determined if your name is even written in the book of life. Okay? But everybody has to definitely see the Christ of Christians. But these Christians are just according to their works. Now look at uh, Romans chapter 14. Let's look at verse 12. It says, It says, So then, every one of us shall give a count to himself to God. Okay? Uh, what it about is, For all of us shall stand before the judgment seat of God. That's actually Paul. It's in verse 2. Uh, so, the why does thou judge thy brother, or why does thou say I'm not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment in the church. And you, you know, when it comes to, uh, as I grow older, as a pastor, and I sit there and I want different, um, I find different flavors of baptism. Okay? And baptism are bad about quick. We have all different types of flavors. Uh, and I watch, and I determine, okay, that guy's my brother. And he's trying to win friends for the Lord. They've messed up to me. He teaches this one. He teaches this one. He ain't grounded to his brother. And now I think about that verse, why does he sound by brother? Did you know we all stand before the dead and see the Now, Lord, do you do what I taught you to do to the best of your ability? And you know what I find the Christian's supposed to do with his brother? To say, here's this older preacher who's been doing something wrong, the wrong way all this time. And here I am, Mr. 40 year old, going to come in and tell Mr. 70 year old how he's supposed to do it. But they don't work. That's not going to work. So when I run here, instead of telling him how to do it, I tell him what the Lord's done to me and what the Lord's taught me. And he can receive it or reject it. It's his business. And he can stand before the Lord and face whether or not he receives the truth or rejects it. If I give him the truth, it's his business how he receives it. My job is to just get the truth. What he does is his business. And they're giving you that truth. Just like if he says something that's true, and I don't perceive it because of my poor father, but if he's so that guy or anything, he's wrong here. How could he be right there? Then I'm going to give account for not receiving the truth of what they need. Through him. You know what I've learned? I've learned that, especially in our ministry, I've learned, I've learned, you can learn things. From just about you can work. I have watched oil for these guys, oil quick, that I've never seen it done. I look back and like, what do you want to do? He goes, oh, just a little bit. He's just a little bit. I look at him like, what do you want to do? I don't want to think about it. I mean, you don't know, want to do it. He you knows this guy, he's only been fun and racist six months. 
break it. You can run for it. And build it on it. Oh, that really got wise in the system. You know, you know, I get this priest, and I think he's a novice. He gets up and preaches. He's preaching for one year. He saves the three. And I let him come to me. I was pretty good. I can learn from that. And you know what I've learned? I've learned that most people that can serve in Christ are something like a man. That's what it is to be serving Christ. There's things that I can learn. Okay? Very good. All right. Thank you, Rob. Bible, turn to um, first, 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 Three types Number one is the typology of a son. The typology of a husband. He, he's one that nurtures, grows, plants, nurtures, waters, grows, and reaps. That's one. So that's the first lady. The other type is, uh, type is a wife master kid as a partner for a mason. He built he, he gets a good foundation and builds solidly upon that foundation. One piece of time. And well, for anybody that especially in masonry, which is more what it was back then than the houses of sticks that we have today. But I mean, it would really, really last a long time if it's done right. But they never home to run down right. Look at this fish, man. You get beans and you get solid bread, okay. They go from last century. You, you know I realize the average house of society today might make it a hundred years, maybe. You can look at that old nation again. They built this rock and this foundation. Then things are going to be six, seven, eight, nine, seven thousand years. So, uh, that's a different type of building. It's just a mess of someone that feels wrong. Okay? So, a massive building, that's another type. Then we have the, um, so you have the, Farmer, you have the husbandman, and you have the master builder. The husbandman is somebody different. That's a fruit. That's a vineyard builder. He's one that builds this fruit with the body. So there's a three kinds of the Christian work. And verse 12, we go into the building. I mean, verse 9, it says, For we are labor together with God, we are God's husbandry, we are God's virgin. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me, a wise wife, master builder. Now, here's the key be a master builder. Don't be a journey always. Amen? I have apprentices on him. And I look at them in practices, and one of the things that I try to teach the apprentice is that you cannot always come to the master technician. You have to go to the service center and look it up and initiate yourself to do something on your own. You can't walk because you can't be a apprentice on your own. You have a time period for apprenticeship. Most friendships are about two years. And if you ain't going to start your father or, or your sister's smart, you're on your own. And that's the way it goes with most friends. 
According to the grace which is given unto me as a wise master gift, be more than just any man, be more than just a few. I have laid the foundation, and another build it fair upon. Let every man can see how he build it fair upon. Now, obviously, we know that Jesus Christ is the same foundation. Jesus Christ is the same. But you are supposed to build upon that rock one thing. Your life has to be built on Jesus Christ. How do you do it? The things that you carry that you put in. You know what a good builder will do? Now, I'm not a good builder. But a good builder will do this. Now, I'm sorry, the last one is teaching you right from here. You can't do it. You won't realize you can see a building in the First of all, you have to have a belief. Where there is no vision, you can be saved. Where there is no vision, you can be saved. You know what that blue sign is? It's a pulse, a pulse. Where the Lord says, This is what I want to do. It's a vision. That's what you want me to do. I am going to study what the Bible says about that pulse. And that's what I'm going to do for the best of my life. Uh, now, is it this? Well, this is the devil you do. Some people are about to do this. Some people are about to Some people are this. Some people are about to do this. But you study your what God wants you to do in this place. And you become that master builder. And you build a pot according to you. And uh, so it's quite key. You know what? What's the thing? What can you do? Is to think about what you do. Let's step out and take a look at your experience to think about. Listen to instructions. Take heed. Okay. Take heed. How you build a fair home. 
For the foundation to no man lays in that which is laid, which is in the Christ. I have the consequences on that. Uh, we need to come to a break. Okay. We need to come to a break. And um, we'll take a break here, and then we'll have preaching services in the second place. Let's stop. Lord, I pray that you're taking the blessing to you, number one. I pray that you're going to give it to you. God, let's go into Jesus.